Yo, what's up gamers and welcome to the second installment of the Maxcape speedrun series. As you can hear, I, uh, I did buy a new mic. I uh, had a lot of fun reading through all the comments uh, in the previous video and boy, I did not expect to hit like almost 100k views on that video. I, I thought that I, I maybe hit like, like 8k, 10k, gain a few more subscribers, maybe a couple hundred, but I I had a little bit over 1k subscribers before the, uh, the previous video and now we are almost at 8k so that is kind of insane. With that said, that's not really a, uh, a good ratio between viewers and uh, subscribers so you know what to do. Click that button like down below, that red one, you, you know him. And uh, click the bell uh, icon as well if you if you're uh, well read it, and uh, also share it with your friends. Or so actually share the previous video, otherwise they're gonna start with episode two, which is not good. So yeah, share it with your friends and uh, like the video, leave a comment if you want. Uh, yeah. And before we are getting into the video today, I wanna discuss some things that uh, that I read into the comments. People were were saying that you're like limiting yourself on an unlimited like speedrun so that doesn't make sense and i kind of agree like i said i wouldn't like cheese slayer but i think i might do that now like it, it makes more sense to like go all out with slayer because that's the place where you can save the most time so i'm probably gonna scrap that rule but some other people were saying about the crystal keys that yeah you should do that but that shit is so expensive and it's it might save like 20 hours in total not even because i think i found a way to uh get most of crafting already out of the way so that leaves just smithing and smithing is even faster so and it uh i, I did calculations on the on the how many uh, shards you need for <coughs> the like the the get like 12.3 mil smithing xp and it's like 250k shards and that's around 5 bill gp that i would need to buy all the 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 crystal teleport seeds so that is just not gonna happen i i don't have that much money and like if if you guys want to like get five will together somehow uh, sure uh, <laughs> i'll do it but uh, yeah that's just too much money for me to uh to spend on on like a 20 hour time save so that one is still off the table oh and i do switch to bolt enchanting for magic later in this video before anyone starts piping up in the comments again so yeah <laughs> anyways enjoy the video and see ya So while this footage of Monkey Madness 1 is playing in the background, I want to take this time to look at the stats and the playtime uh, for the account now. This is not really accurate because it's like a little bit in the future of this episode, but uh, this is the best I could find like uh, for the playtime and CML, uh, CML. temple, um, temple EHP um, stats and yeah, so in the previous episode we did like 40 quests, I think. And we gained like over 750 total. So that is pretty good for the first episode. But the main things you want to look at here are the playtime and uh, the EHP. In the EHP is at the top. So <clears throat> we have 14 hours and 27 minutes played with these stats and that gets us 17 EHP so we're a couple hours positive. And uh, yeah, let's get on to the questing. And once more we are off to a great start, me not uh, knowing how to figure out how to pay for the... for to skip the puzzle in the Monkey Madness, so I just ended up doing it. This puzzle takes a long time, like way longer than hard glue uh, puzzles. So that yeah, that's a couple minutes uh, down the drain. And if every, anyone knows, like how how do you skip the puzzle? I remember doing it like 
uh, at the start of old school because I was too lazy or maybe too stupid to do the puzzle, but or well, we didn't have rune life back then. Um, so yeah, if everyone knows how to skip the puzzle, that would be great because because I couldn't figure it out. Okay, we made it to the monkey prison, and we are being accompanied by two champions right here <laughs> they're having a blast man i can already tell but there's no shot that they don't get punched to the dome by the gorilla i can already see it happen oh they're on the move they're on the move oh his friend got through uh... <laughs> Ooh. All right. Oh, <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> okay, so we got the monkey dentures and uh, amulet mold. Now we're gonna make the monkey Grigri. At this point, the quest is uh, pretty close to being done already. And for the boss battle, yeah, what can I say? I prayed magic and uh, placed down the cannon. It was a little bit of effort to get uh, the double hit spots in though, but uh, we got there in the end. in the medic level and a range level and we're getting pretty close to 50 magic which unlocks the tome of fire and that's uh, it's gonna speed up uh, future bosses uh, future quest bosses quite a bit because it gives 50 percent extra damage on fire spells now wrapping up this quest There we go, that's three quest points. And of course the training. We're gonna go for uh, attack and defense here, because the faster we get 60 attack, the faster we get access to the good spec weapons, like Dragon Claws, Dra Dragon Halberd. So that's why I chose the, the attack one. Now I'm getting my crafting up for Nature Spirit. I'm boosting here with a mushroom pie so we can cut sapphires from level 16. Uh, I want to go for fairing a look, so nature spirit is up first. That is nature spirit done. Easy. I also want to quest my farming up, so I'm doing cook's assistant and uh, helping the cook for recipe for disaster uh, quest here now. Then I'm gonna do the subquest with the goblin generals for 1k farming xp uh, i want to do the first like 32 levels with questing so i can boost for uh, tea trees after that and then just do those since they, they are the highest xp an hour for that level they're very close together and give like 7k xp per tree so yeah cook assistant done more quest points and that brings me to the next point I didn't really explain why I was doing all these quests um, in the in the previous video, but the main reason why I'm doing so much so many questing uh, is that I need to get Slayer blocks because Slayer is like the, the thing where you can save the most time on uh, on this uh, run. Uh, if you have like a good Slayer list with the right amount of blocks, you can uh, easily save a lot of hours there. So that's what I'm working on. But before I started this, I had no idea how many quest points or how many blocks uh, I would actually uh, need for a like, good slayer or for all the uh, all the other unlocks uh, for diaries and stuff like that. But it was way more than I expected that you already needed for the most basic unlocks. I I wanna ask you guys to. Uh, to think for yourself how many quest points do you like m uh, need at minimum for all the unlocks because I thought 
maybe like 100 quest points would be enough for certain diaries and, and other unlocks like quests that uh, unlock skilling uh, methods uh, for Hello Sepulchre for example you need like the whole Myrarchy quest line but it turned out that I already had like 170 quest points or something before I had everything unlocked and at that point I was like yeah might as well go for 200 and unlock barrel gloves and uh, get my fourth slayer block so that is the goal for all the questing I uh, yeah I want to get 200 quest points for four slayer blocks because with three slayer blocks it's also possible but RNG might play a role with slayer so I would rather not have having to boost points uh, and throw the run or like throw the run but yet like lose time when I'm like already 800 hours into the run or something because slayer is gonna be like at the very end and I'm also skipping certain quests uh, Elemental Workshop, Cabin Fever, Olaf's Quest, Contact and Unlocking the Ancient Cavern um, I'll unlock Slayer monsters I do not want So yeah, I'm skipping those And Dragon Slayer 1 is not part of this because you actually need it for uh, the Karamja Elite for the Teleport to Durdal and doing Black Dragons and Summer of Steel Dragon tasks uh, is actually better for points than not having to skip the iron and blue dragons. So yeah, Dragon Slayer 1 has to be done. And after that quest I got 31 crafting for Lost City, because Lost City is also prereq for fairy rings. So yeah, and Lost City also means woodcutting, so that brings us to our first little skilling segment of the of the video I'm gonna do two tick oaks here on Zea <coughs> with, uh, with the two guards so I need to pray against them I actually forgot uh, that my kitty is uh, hunger, hungry in three minutes so I uh, had to pick him up unfortunately I'm growing my cat for the evil day fresh before disaster subquest because uh, Having a kitten with that is really slow and painful, so... And I also need to get a new kitten uh, for the Farrog Medium Diary. But I don't want to like shoo away my kitten when it's just uh, like an hour left, so... I uh, want to get an adult cat first and then get, uh, get a new kitten for the diary. Wait, do you guys also hear music? fun method but once i hit 35 i will go to the teak trees to do some two ticking there on the isles of soul 
After running for two minutes straight, I finally arrived at the teaks. But I banked my prayer pots as well, and I completely forgot that these things are not rats. And they do hit kind of hard if you are low defense. So I uh, got kind of destroyed by the birds, and uh, yeah, I had to uh, had to kill them because I was too low HP. And I wanted to go for 42 woodcutting here, but I just wasn't going to make it. So I had to kill them and uh, trade over prayer pot for my main, and then uh, I could finish 42 woodcutting. So I just got 42 woodcutting at uh, Teaks. Now we're making our way over to Zea because we needed 42 woodcutting for cutting those uh, juniper trees. And I'm going for 10 logs here so I can put them in the, um, the furnace for the charcoal for dynamite. Because we also uh, plan on completing all Zea favors actually in the speedrun. You may be wondering, huh? It's how is that even efficient? So, for artifacts, uh, having all the diaries, or at least uh, the hard diary completed, which um, requires all favors, you have unlimited teleports to the current woodland, where you have to recharge your, uh, your book uh, to do artifacts with. And in the meantime, I also completed some easy tasks. I dug up some saltpeter and um, I killed a sand crab. And after that, I put the uh, logs into the furnace, played the dwarf, and went on with questing. And that is Lost City done. And after this, I went to do some back trees for some farming xp because i wasn't really in the mood for uh doing a forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf since that quest is very long and gives well, almost no rewards but i wanted to do it for the farming xp but i just did 5k farming with this so i could uh, still get level 32 after all the quests finished up fair tale part one for some farming xp we do 26, that's enough for uh, Garden of Tranquility after this. First we're gonna unlock um, the fairy rings, so we're gonna start Fairy Tale Part 2 like straight after. But with this quest you have to wait 5 minutes before you can like actually start it. So in the meantime we will do some skilling. I went to the GE to do some fire making. And from level 1 to 30, I did uh, colored logs because they have a 100% chance to do light. Like you, you, you can't fail uh, to light them. And after that, I decided to do some fire one, but my cooking was so low that it was like almost burning everything, and me not like knowing how to do fire one anymore was it also helping. So. I don't know, I feel like I even lost time here with trying to multi-skill. But yeah, we got uh, 50 fire making in the end and 30 cooking. When that was done, I un unlocked the fairy rings, which will be really helpful for questing, of course. And I did sea slug for early fishing. Fishing contest for more fishing. Uh, Rest for Disaster Dwarf Subquest, Increase Your Fang and Strain. And I saw King Roald getting victimized by his wife. And I completed Garden of Tranquility. And light a journey after that to finally achieve the 32 farming. Planted my first Teak saplings. I killed Elvark and took her head. And there were also a lot of other quests that I like skip over because they were pretty uneventful. And otherwise, I would be like showing a lot of quest completions back to back to back. So I just skipped over a few. But here's Dragon Slayer completed. <clears throat> pretty big quest for uh, XP, which got me to 40, 43 strength and 44 defense. 
Then I did everyone's favorite quest, one small favor. I swear this quest keeps getting longer every time I do it. I used the rewards on agility to get to level 40. So I can use uh, the medium diary lamps on that. Now it's time to do a final skilling grind. Well, grind it took me, I don't know, like 20 minutes to, to get this, but I need 42 mining for uh, mining silver on Zea, on the Lobakench uh, favor. So yeah, I did this at um, Ardi with uh, three tick iron, which is pretty fun method. I uh, actually have never done this before and it uh, went quite smooth. So I'm really looking forward to uh, doing some quarry now after uh, being done with this. Well, that is today's end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a thing or two. In the next one, we'll be starting the Zaya favors. Uh, I wanted to do this in like in one go, like without leaving Zaya. So I'm starting here with um, Client of Corrent, and then I'm using the favor on Piscarillius, and then I go on to do all the rest of the favors. Mm, this is the playtime as of right now just shy of 19 hours played and i think we're still like over one hour positive uh hp wise so yeah that is pretty good still even though we have done a lot of questing and like other stuff we're still like positive or even with the hp we're also getting close to the 1k total mark which is also kind of cool and this episode has been very quest heavy but in the next one we will be unlocking a new skilling method and that will also be our first skill that we're actually gonna train to 99 which will take over 100 hours so stay tuned for that take care everyone and i will see you in the next one